Welcome to Shore Perspectives, a community feature of WESR Radio, highlighting the spirit of the shore from those who call it home. Hi, everybody. This is Barry Mears with the Atlantic Cocktail Wing Wingfest is a labor of love, you might say. Uh, it's a wing cooking competition um, made up of our local best backyard chefs and some of our local restaurants here. Um, it turns into a live auction, and the labor of love part of Wing Fest is all the proceeds that are raised by this particular event um, go out to somebody, an individual in our community that may be uh, dealing with some uh, medical issues or a difficult situation. And that's what we like to do at the Elks Lodge. We're community oriented. We like to look out for our own and we like to have a good time. And I can't tell you how much support and how much we've grown uh, with Wingfest over the years. Wingfest is eight years strong. Uh, it's grown every year. We've added something every year. Uh, the amount of people and the support that we receive from this community is just, just overwhelming and amazing. It's just unbelievable the heart of this community and how everybody comes together as one when we have these events. We're about a year since our last Wing Fest, and that was in February. And if you had told me then uh, about COVID-19 and all the restrictions that were coming about, I wouldn't have believed it. Uh, this time last year, the Anancock Elks Lodge had nearly 500 people inside the lodge. We had a live auction with Chester Jackson. We had a full event, people come and go. We had 20-some entrants. We have uh, 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 a buffet. We served over 15,000 chicken wings. Uh, COVID has prevented a challenge, uh, presented a challenge to us. But I can tell you, it's not going to slow us down. It's not going to stop us. Uh, we're going to, we're just going to keep on going. Well, <clears throat> when we first started the planning, as you can imagine, with all the restrictions and and uh, rules and regulations in place, we thought about postponing. Uh, we thought about canceling. And you know, it was at that time Wade Fowler spoke up and he said, "Listen, we're the Anancock Elks Lodge, and if it's anything we know how to do, that's overcome a challenge." We all looked at each other and we knew at that moment that it was going to go on. And uh, after all, the medical bills don't stop. You know, people's uh, uh, ability to, you know, need a little assistance, that, that doesn't go away. So we can't just stop what we're doing. The mission must go on. Uh, so we got our heads together and said, how can we make this work? And uh, we came up with a curbside pickup, uh, carry out wings. Uh, we said, what about the auction? How are we going to do that? I said, if we can get people in, we said, how about an online auction? You see them all the time. Well, I can't tell you that the support so far, we're only in a few weeks have been uh, planning this event, and it's been absolutely amazing. i got to give a shout-out to our major sponsor, which is Tyson Foods. Uh, without Tyson's, Wingfest wouldn't be where it is today. As you can imagine, the expense of... Uh, purchasing all these wings. Uh, but Tyson's has stepped up. They're a community leader. They've worked hand in hand with us. And hold on to your hats, folks. Since this event has started, Tyson Foods has donated to the Anancock Elks Lodge over 50,000 chicken wings. That's 50,000 chicken wings that have run through this place with all of the proceeds helping somebody, a local neighbor. And that's our core mission. We're uh, featuring an online auction right now. Uh, people can contact the Elks Lodge, Wade Fowler, or myself, Barry Mears, through Messenger, Facebook, um, or, or give us a call. Uh, as an item comes in, we simply put it up and we put it out for bid. Uh, as you can see, uh, the auction is taking off. It's unbelievable support we're getting. We've got a high bid on a, a chocolate uh, peanut butter cake at $300, another one for $170. And these people that are donating, Kelly, and these people that are bidding, they're bidding from the heart. They're doing it out of love. And that's the whole purpose of this event. And I'd like to refer everybody, just check us out at the Mancock Elks Lodge on our Facebook page, and you'll see auction items. You can bid anytime. It's simple. Just bid in the comments. If you're 
you want to bid privately, you can do that as well. There's instructions on the site on how to do it. And it's just overwhelming, the support. We were thinking, you know, is anybody going to want to do this? And so far, it's just, just astronomical the way and the support that we're receiving. In the beginning of uh, WingFest, since these wings are so good and, and, and the competition is so stiff, uh, we couldn't just have anybody judging. You had to bid for the uh, privilege to judge, quite honestly. And I must say, the generosity that I've seen uh, throughout this process, and it's been more and more every year, the amount of money people are willing to bid to judge these chicken wings, uh, brings to mind a gentleman by the name of Chris Ferry. Um, if you're not familiar with him, I ask you to check out, check out our Facebook page. And, of course, he's just an inspiring young man. Uh, he's got his own story to tell, and you can read that as well. But Mr. Ferry has taken this to an all-new level. He, uh, he had the idea years ago uh, to be a spicy judge, and what he simply did was ask people to sponsor him, help him out, push him over, make him the high bidder. Uh, he will never be beat, I can tell you that, because the amount of support he has gained from local businesses and individuals is just it's, it's second to none. Right now, 48 hours after he announced that he wanted to be a spicy wing judge, he's rounded up $4,000. $4,000 just, just to bid. The beautiful thing about this, every one of those dollars goes to the individual that's our guest of honor this year to help out with medical bills. And that's the labor of love. If everybody wants to know who the recipient is this year, just go to our Facebook page. We try to respect everybody's privacy, and uh, we, uh, you know, it's it's all there. But we just ask you to go there, and you can read and, and, and see the story, and know exactly what you you know what you need to find out. In years past, uh, we had many many categories, and we offered a buffet of wings because we had so many people coming in to get the wings. Of course, with the COVID regulations, we've had to modify our lineup, so to speak. But we've kind of covered uh, every taste uh, that you can think of. You can have naked wings, sweet wings, or spicy wings. It's a great deal. A $20 donation gets you 40 wings. And you can mix up either of those flavors or, or just go full board. You can call them and say, I want 40 wings sweet. That's a $20 donation. You can say, I want 20 sweet and 20 spicy, $20 donation. Refer to the Nancock Elks Lodge page. That's where all the information comes in. That's where all the auction items come in. Uh, you can simply uh, uh, put your request in there, and somebody's going to throw a like beside it, or we'll acknowledge you uh, in that way as well. I can tell you, this event would never have become what it is without all the local businesses, all the individuals that have donated. It's just a, a list, a laundry list, a long list of people. Uh, from the beginning, uh, Tyson Foods and Scobie Ducks Chuck Wagon, Gio and Pat Smith, have been our uh, two main sponsors to start. And with the supporting cast of uh, everyone in the community, and look, this is a uh, this is a uh, an effort. This is an all aboard effort. I'd like to thank all the volunteers at the Elks Lodge. These people go out of their way. They're there early in the morning, they're there late at night, and they're there as volunteers. Uh, I'd like to thank all the individuals that come in and support somebody like Chris Ferret or call him. I will get people that randomly just call in and say, can I donate? They don't want to wing. They don't want to donate. They just want to help out. And uh, I can tell you it's the most rewarding project. And I've been on a lot of adults, and they're all successful. But this one is close to my heart because I can tell you uh, the bonds that have been made that I have made and we have made at the Elks and the friends that we've all made, just unbelievable, just unbelievable. They carry on to, I've got people that will call me now from five years ago and say, hey, Barry, it's all clear. It's all good, you know, and, and, and you know, we, we talk at Christmas and it's just, just a wonderful love fest. I tell you, it's, it's hard to beat. And uh, I'm just so proud to be a member of the Nancock Elks Lodge. Uh, it's, it's just an organization that's 
unbelievable with the commitment to help this community. When we say Elks care and Elks share, we prove it in our actions. And I believe it, it shines through. When you see somebody pay $500 for a cake, or I've seen a bag of Cheetos sold for 400 you can rest assured that the people that were paying that money and the people that were donating were doing it from the heart, and they were doing it to help somebody else. So when we say help us care and help us share, we do it with deeds, and we appreciate everybody, everybody that helps us with this core uh, mission. It's not just the Elks, it's a perfect recipe. It's the Elks volunteers, it is the community, it is the business, and we are one, we are whole, we are the Eastern Shore of Virginia. For more information on participating in the 8th Annual Ticktown Wingfest fundraiser, visit the Anancock Elks Lodge Facebook page. You can also contact Barry Mears or Wade Fowler. For Shore Perspectives and WESR Radio, I'm Kelly Gaskell.